When it comes to wall loop speedrunning, the key takeaway is how tactile your fingers are. You know, you can make a mistake, but you get it immediately correct. So you need to go around over and over and over again. So it's a very hard concept to understand. Most people nowadays, they go for the under over approach, but I go for the over under. It saves you about a millisecond on reruns, but a half a second on mid pit mid rolls. Now, so when you do a half turn quarter turn and you go into a uh, half turn uh, brace, you really want to focus on uh, uh, the, your op the string optimization or uh, what real speedrunners call it, the, uh, S the STWD. You know, of course, that that's standing for, you know, something that's very important. Now, the trick always is to go long form, long form over short form. You, you know what I, st what I mean is, uh, when you uh, do it, when you fix your mouse, you, you really want to uh, make sure that you don't cut it off. You don't cut it off. Now, should you do cut it off, the most important thing is to always get back up and keep resuming. As, as you see here, I, I made a mistake. Oh, again, yeah, I made a mistake right there. I mean, if I didn't make the mistake, I, I could have shaved like at least, at least point five seconds off my time. Now, as we go closer, you know, as so we go for a half turn, full turn, a quarterback, nickelback. And gosh, you know, man, now I'm looking at that, you know, I, I could really be saving some time here, but, you know, going for a full circle, full circle turn, you really get to see that the, the technique, you know, it's, it's really hard nowadays in a woo loop speedrunning. There's a, it's a, this is called the hold down versus the uh, let go approach. Okay, the hold down approach is where you hold down your finger during the du duration of the yarn throw. This can be seen uh, in the top speedrunners in the community, like, uh, uh, like, uh, what's his name? God, what the frick's his name? His name's, uh, Paint Man? Yes, Paint Man, the, the obvious Mr. Paint Man, so prestigious in his, uh, Wool Loop speedrunning achievements. I'm pretty sure he finished the ship in under two minutes. Um, uh, unprecedented feat. I I'm on 15 minutes on this ship, okay. So, hey, here we go. Now, when you go for the under and over the overhand approach, what you really want to do is, uh, is, is when you hold down the, the, the button to make sure your string is still active. Now, by doing that, you're just guaranteeing that your string's active 100% of the time. That saves you about 0.2 seconds, 0.2 milliseconds, and I, I, that, that's actually about 0.2 milliseconds. But now, now if you really want to really save some time, not, not save time, but it's it's more it's such a more comfortable position i adopt speedrunners like uh gargantuum and uh he, he he loves to not hold down his finger because he he's not really good at the speed run and it can do so many there's so many categories for wool loop speed runs that uh many people tend not to hold hold it down even for the time the, the, even for the barely insignificant time increase but uh you usually hold it down just, just, just to, just to shave up, shave off a few milliseconds. That, that's if, that's if we are tied for any close seconds. Now holding it down is not as comfortable because your finger is stuck in an action position, which makes it harder to do long strokes. You know the things I was talking about earlier: long strokes, long strokes versus short strokes. Short strokes being like, you see how I like, you see how I'm like stuttering and doing it. You see, an actual good speedrunner, what they'd be doing is they would be going full, they wouldn't be stuttering, they would be going the full distance. They'd be going non-stop, full throttle, 100% of the time, but nope. But that, oh god, ugh, man, and, and that's one of the hardest parts in loop speedrunning. Uh, see, this is a blind loop speedrun, so the, one of the hardest things to do is to uh, make sure that when you're going to the right peg, Peg optimization, they call it, or the uh, POG, you know. So, uh, because as you're going, <clears throat> life throw, you're going for a blind, you're going for a blind speed run. You don't know what pegs are going to be directed in which direction. You know, you know, like right there, I got screwed over because I, I thought that it was going somewhere else, and you, you don't know where it's going to lead. So you can only guess, you can only guess, like how am I supposed to know that was the ending one? Usually ending is, usually endings are three, but sometimes in levels like, oh my gosh, levels like the Empire State Building, oh my gosh, the Empire State Building tech is um, 
believable because you, you have to it, it's a combination of uh it's it's a combination of goat skipping which is popularized by a uh, content creator of uh, a uh, mischief goat which uh he, he made a technique that basically you can do the empire state building in only like five minutes and usually it's a 30 minute puzzle to complete so as you see here i made just a few mistakes but overall i'm making some good pace you know nothing record breaking but uh for a blind speed for a blind speed run uh, honestly blind speed run also i also gotta account i'm not going for the standard touchscreen category or the uh, standard malice category i'm particularly going for the um the mouse pad what's it called on the uh, desktop i'm specifically going for that because you know not many people there still will be few people using it the 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 the, the, the move pad god the i forgot the the thing the, the pad on the on the computer is cool but so many few speedrunners want to challenge themselves and i'm always a firm believer that if you're not challenging yourself you're not really going to your fullest potential and as you see oh i almost executed a perfect long form oh and oh gosh that, that, that's one of the that's one of the kinks of doing it uh doing it blind like i'm not supposed to be doing a circle it's just it's, it's, it's just a bad i i think i'm lost yeah i'm completely lost oh well i lost so much time right there because the oh yeah trackpad meta is really the trackpad meta the trackpad meta really is just holding it down because you want to control your finger it, you want to control your finger completely because if you're not controlling your finger you can't switch from short to long form now if we're going to do something like the manhattan goat skip i'm pretty sure we can do a combination of touch screen and um uh, drag pad because doing a combination of drag pad and touch screen you can really it's it's holding it you get the consistent hold down of the touch pad but you get the movement of a schlong you get the movement and time skips of long form. You know, that's a pretty hard speedrunning strat, so I'm a pretty basic beginner, so I don't go for anything insane like that. But if you wanna if you wanna like if you wanna like uh if you wanna get a top uh if you wanna if you wanna get a top time like uh, like Nightmare has, Nightmare of course the uh when the, the top streamers in the Wolvoop community community, he has oh my god, I think he has like like thirty seconds on air balloon. And dude, my air balloon time's like five minutes. I don't even know. I, I watched his replay, and it's insane how he optimizes the clown skip with the uh, long form touch screen. It is insane how he does that. And I'm just, I'm just curious how it has, uh, how the computers are gonna do this, because if we, if it's any to notation to how people are handling it, honestly, I don't know how we're gonna optimize it even more. Now, I was looking at the Jolly Clown, and the Jolly Clown, he was, uh, in the stream today, he, he did the few skips, a combination of the, uh, the co a combination of the White House and the Pyramid of Giza, but I don't know, I, I think it's just too loose to say, it's too loose to say, uh, where and how the skips are going to be optimized, because, for example, if you're doing a pineapple blind trackpad run, if you're doing a blind pineapple trackpad run, you're not you're not gonna be able to execute skips like you're like on a memorized map, because uh I don't know it's 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 just different the different meta. It's like going into a room and trying to find a pencil on the ground. I mean, am I gonna find the pencil? Yes, but I don't even know I'm looking for a pencil. So ooh, yeah, a common mistake on the blind. I don't, I don't even know where I'm going. Honestly, for future, for all few, for future Wulu, I think an update that they should roll out is uh, each pen should be a different color. For example, if I just previously did a pin, you know, like uh, the next one should be green. So it, it's easier to tell on maps like this. And this is a smaller map compared to the globe map. The globe map, obviously one of the biggest maps. I don't know. You can't really execute. You can't really go loosey goosey on the skips here. And um, you see, perfect. Um, that was almost, almost, if I, that was an almost, that was an almost perfect long form skip. I, I'm just kind of disappointed. I could have showed everyone the, the long skip because long skip, the long, the long form, long form, that's all long form, short form is the key defining parts of the meta right now, because sure you can make up time with long form, 
but you can do way it's you can do way easier curl skips curl skips oh yeah of course curl skips being uh, when you have to curl like that when you have to curl your string around a peg it's easier to do it short because you're already adjusting you're already automatically adjusting with a distance and you do it long you have to adjust it takes more time and wool loops all about wool loop speed running is all about uh precision and timing it's a uh, each it's an effort stroking like right there boom just because I, I i did a long stroke right there but since i did a long stroke i i, I can't I, I, since I said i did a long stroke I, it's a I, I couldn't possibly know that i, I should have gone for a short stroke however i'm almost got like and also right there and it's, it's under versus over you know, it's just hard to tell on these new maps, the Woo Woo speedrunning meta. It's it's hard to see. I, I can't wait to look at the more community support. I, I think I'm almost done. I'm like, what is this my last color? I have to think of, I think, I think I, I gotta finish at the top. I'll look the right, right there. It's right there. That's the perfect situation to go for a short term skip. Because short, doing a short term skip right there, you automatically adjust. You automatically adjust for the incline peg effect which is a study done by dr james gordon yes I, I, it's the same name as jake gordon but you know and right there perfect it said x oh my gosh oh yeah oh my god i forgot about i forgot about the cheese kernel cheese kernel he did this fantastic thing called the failure nudging so you saw like previously failure nudging where it said it was negative but even even though it was like red i still got the i still got it Oh, uh, the, the, the cheese kernel. What he did is he figured out how much you can, uh, how much, how much failure you can do without it resetting like that. And honestly, looking at some of his speed runs, I'm quite surprised that more people are adopting this. What's this? We are, are adopting it. And there you go. A pretty good time, I think. Honestly, is it gonna be my best? Time? I think it's one of the better. I think I screwed up too many times to be on the. Leaderable in the top 10, but honestly, I'm just proud of what I did. <laughs>